Good morning, Mrs. Wilk. It's a great morning. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, that is wrong. Care to join me in a super loud throat clear? Absolutely. One, two, three. <clears throat> Who's a whore? That'd be me, sir. Oh, of course. I was checking on Mrs. Wilk and... Mrs. Wilk, I just wanted to explain to you my behavior before. It's not like I was just making out with some random guy in the hospital. I wouldn't do that. Well, I did that once. There was this medevac pilot. Actually, he just turned out to be an orderly who got his hands on a helicopter helmet, but this is different. Sure, it could get complicated. He has a son. And a wife. I've been making out with a married man while his sick child slept a few feet away. Oh my God, I've become my mother. You said your wife was dead. No, I said she wasn't with us. Don't make me out to be a bad guy. Well, you're not a good guy. Good guys don't lie about being single or about being helicopter pilots. If you were a good guy, you would get in there and tell her what happened. You're right. Hell yeah, I am. Wait, what? You know how when something horrible happens, like a car accident, everything slows down? So, Dr. Reed, you were covering Mr. Foster. Actually, sir, I was on my way to cover Mr. Foster, but then I stopped in Mrs. Wilkes' room and... What are you doing? Don't look at me! Kate, did you see the woman standing outside? Yeah, I see her. I made out with her husband this morning. That's disgusting. Okay, Keith, just get out of here and go do PFTs on Mr. Foster. Dr. Reed, why are you hiding? You didn't do anything wrong. If we all win this lottery, then I am using that money to find a decent man. Mrs. Brown, I want you to know how sorry I am for kissing your husband, but we are two women who have both been wronged and both been lied to, and the healthiest thing for us to do right now, just to walk away from each other with our dignity intact. Don't you agree? Do you know what I do with whores? I punch them in the face. Bring it, bitch. Mm -hmm. 